There is rising hope for improved ties between Ethiopia's ruling coalition member, the Oromo Democratic Party, and the Oromo Liberation Front. This follows an agreement between the two that led to putting down weapons. CGTN's Giram Chala now reports. The new era began immediately after the Oromo Liberation Front, which enjoys huge support from people of Oromo, agreed to abandon arms and allow its uh, troops to join government camps. Reports suggest some 1,000 OLF fighters have now entered rehabilitation centers. Everybody remembers. Our the OLF chairman, Daoud Ibsa, says the whole situation is opening doors of hope for coalition between ODP and OLF. We have uh, come to, together how to cooperate and, and, and uh, come to uh, uh, understanding and uh, we have uh, signed a lo some sort of memorandum of understanding to cooperate on issues of peace and stability and uh, also normalizing relation between OLF and uh, ODP and etc. And another, my, my, nobody knows uh, this will lead to some sort of uh, unity or cooperation, but we are positively working together. Many now are optimistic of Ethiopia's future. Fighting the terrorism to building democracy. Activist Joao Mohammed, who played a key role in bringing the government and OLF together for peace, said with the reform Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed and his government are pursuing, there is many more good news coming towards Ethiopia. The hope on Ethiopia from the regional governments, from the regional people, is incredible. Because Ethiopia is a country of 110 million, the largest state, and uh, where the failure and success in Addis Ababa affects failure and success in Nairobi, in Juba, and Mogadishu. So the potential for uh, peace, the potential for economic growth uh, is here. And I think there is also uh, you know, a young and vibrant generation coming up with a diverse background, with a diverse uh, set of skills. Uh, I'm very hopeful that we can push it through. OLF leader Daud Ibsa is now also optimistic. With the coming of elections in few months' time, he hopes there is a lot to gain from the opening of a democratic space in Ethiopia. Thousands have been in prison, tortured for this change, year after year, continuously, with armed struggles uh, added to this. Uh, pushed for this change. So we believe this change is the change of our people and our sacrifices and we believe it is ours because it forces a reform within EPRDF. So the coming of uh, Prime Minister Abiy and his, his group, we think this is part of our, our gain and our victory. So we hope this will carve the, 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 well, the path and the road of change which will take us to free and fair election in this country. The OLF fell out with the ruling Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front, EPRDF, in 1992 and soon began launching armed attacks. Last year, the new Ethiopian government under Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed removed the OLF from a list of terrorist organizations and its exiled leadership made a triumphant return home. Based on the current cooperation atmosphere between political parties here in Ethiopia, many say citizens could enjoy better governance now than ever before. Group Tala CGTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.